Hoping, hoping we see the return of Chris Aaliyah soon. Brian Cannon, of course, we've got him on the Sam Tripoli show, which is, um, eh, it looks it looks interesting for the most part. I'm not just sure if he's entirely happy with what he's doing with Sam Tripoli at the moment. Um, if you see this clip that I'm going to play for you now at the moment, I'm not too sure if Brian Cannon really um, uh, is a... Because <laughs> I guess the issue here is that if you're a fan of The Final Kid, you'll know that Brian Cannon has been for years trying to make it in Hollywood, right? Years. He's trying to be he's trying to be a successful actor or comedic actor in some way, shape or form. It hasn't necessarily worked out for him, even though he's probably one of the most funniest, naturally funniest people on the podcasting or in that LA community scene, right? In podcasts in general. He's just a naturally funny guy. Comes across really well. Um, great timing. Self-deprecation is on point. Um, he knows how to carry on bits. He's great at improv. Just a really all-round strong, strong comedian. I can only imagine people always say he's probably one of the best comedians within that circle live, right? He's someone you have to see live. You have to see live. Um, but he's obviously got that talent too, oddly enough, where he's actually a, quite a decent actor. Um, I guess it comes from his years in acting school and being classically trained or that sort of malarkey or being, you know, dabbling in that sort of stuff. But he's a, you know, serious dude. So he finally gets a shot at being in Hollywood. He finally gets a chance with his um, Schooled and the Gold... But, you know, Schooled was an offshoot and I guess Goldberg was the main one. The main show he was doing. And he's suddenly there. He's there where he needs to be. And of course, the sexual allegations come out and it kind of, you know, his whole world comes crashing down and he tries to make a show with Brendan Shaw. That gets pulled by Cast Media who says, nope, you cannot do that on our watch. So then he had to kind of justify the amount of money that was getting sent to him via Spotify via the fans and put out a show. Now, I don't think it's fair because I think part of the reason why they got that money from the fans via Patreon was because I think a lot of the fans love Brian and they love the show and they wanted to support him. So just a way for them to kind of like say, hey, hold your head up, right? We've got your back. Um, I don't think it's going to be, I don't think they're going to be throwing fits and not having the show that they want that much. I think they're just going to be happy. Even if Brian started doing those videos that he did prior on his iPad and just uploading them on Patreon, people would be happy with it because I think he's just that. Uh, he's that well liked within the T-Fat-K fan base, probably more so than Brendan Shaw. But if they do get a show, I'm not sure if the show they want is this, which is this conspiracy show they put together with Sam and Brian, which makes sense on paper because Sam Tripoli is all the way in on conspiracies and Brian Callan is all the way out, right? If you ever see the interactions that Brian Callan has with Eddie Bravo on Joe Rogan's show, you'll know that Brian Callan has no time for conspiracy theories. He thinks it's a complete waste of time. If anything, he thinks it's intellectually insulting. So for him to sit down with... Um, uh, <laughs> to sit down with Sam Tripoli with this clip of this show you see his face kind of like recoil when he starts to realise oh shit look what I've got myself into I'm going to play I'm going to play this clip for you now <laughs> now you gotta uh, you you have to look at this video dude now you gotta uh, no, uh, you, you uh, have to look at uh, let's go, let's go here let's go here from the start from the start Hanks getting his Greek <laughs> yeah Greece, kind of interesting right oh no and there's a Sam. picture with him and look at look at his expression too <laughs> it's kind of interesting dude Sam, take it away. What's going on with this? <laughs> well, you know, there's a guy he, that uh, uh, accused Tom Hanks of uh, being a pe pedophile. Uh, he was found dead under the car. <laughs> Look at his face already. He's <laughs> ever ah! <laughs> to say across somebody who believes that Tom Hanks is a, a mastermind pedophile operator. Oh. <laughs> uh, in Arizona, and the weird thing was Tom Hanks <laughs> Look at his message oh, on shit. the highway, either right be a little before that or a little after that. And on the bottom, on on the um, Instagram post, there was a the guy who died. His name is Isaac Cappy, and on the Instagram post there was a cap, and he looked real good. It had a P on it. Now, <laughs> now that sounds crazy. You're like Sam. You're looking for uh, his last name was Cappy. He had a cap with a P on it. Okay, sounds crazy. So then we get to this thing, this thing called... Um, <laughs> Look at his face! <laughs> Again, man, how do I imagine a fallen man? I love Callum, but imagine having to go through this. And I love Sam Tripoli too. But imagine how, this is what your career has come down to, right? You had like a bit part role in the Joker. You were in it for like a... You're not even in it for a coffee. You were in it for a lollipop. Maybe a chewing gum. Maybe a mint or two, right? And now suddenly you're... you're from being in a room with an accomplished actress actor like um Joaquin Phoenix is suddenly sitting alongside Sam Tripoli and he's trying to convince you that Tom Hanks is a nonce. Oh. Healthy Buddha. Now you gotta uh, you you have to look at this video. Oh. And it breaks down this one Instagram post. 
that Tom, look me in the eye, bro. You have to look at his video. Look exactly. Now you talking about my, 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 my America's sweetheart, Tom Hanks. He's a Rothschild, but he listened. Oh, so yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's okay. And so is Ellen, by the way. She's either Rockefeller oh, or Rothschild. They're all fucking Rothschilds. It's just crazy. Look at look at Ellen. Look at Ellen. Uh, Tom Hanks is Jewish. That's the first time I've heard that. Well, I mean, like, there's different uh, brands, uh, and the uh, Rothschilds aren't Jews, they're Kazarians. Anyway, so the whole point is this, is that uh, he had a picture, <laughs> of, uh, he takes these weird pictures where he, like, there looks like one thing, there's just one thing there, like a sock or a glove or a shoe, and it's the only thing there. So there's this one with a glove, and it lightly in what looks like water that's been vaporized, and so I don't know how that, but it looks like it says S R E. USA, right? So this guy's known for doing research and he throws into Google, nothing comes up. But his whole thing is go through all the different search engines of all the different um, countries. But Russia has their own. So he throws it into the Russian search engine. Holy shit. This, all this. this is deep. This is deep conspiracy theory waters, right? Where you're starting to believe that certain, which, which, which makes sense, isn't it? There are certain search engines, you know, you argue between Google and DuckDuckGo that you know throw up different results but god almighty a russian search engine to search for a picture of a glove insane shit comes up man insane shit uh that leads to really dark dark stuff okay so we got that then we have it on that he, on his instagram at one post he had thirty thousand people shouting at him that he was a pedophile now is that true yeah I never heard this before. Yeah, no. the 30,000 people on his Instagram were commenting about, their, they were commenting <laughs> his opinion. He took off the comments on his fucking Jesus YouTube page. So, so then he put this weird, this weird picture up, right? If Have you heard of this? I've never heard of this before. 30,000 people, I, I don't know if this is true or not. I've never heard of it in my life. Do you, can you go to his Instagram? Mm -hmm. where, uh, where are the victims and why are they not speaking out? Oh, one has. Her name's Sarah Ashcroft. She said that that happened and no, nobody's listening. So go down. Go down. Uh, if you keep going, you just keep going. I believe where there's one, there's many. You know what I'm saying? Okay, keep going. Oh, that's a risky thing to say, Callan. You know, with your allegations, if there's one, there's many. It's a risky thing to say. Risky thing to say. Keep going. I don't buy, I don't buy into... When if you yeah if you've done something oh okay I've, he's he means like if you've done it once you, you'll do many so if he's been accused of one rape there should be other rapists coming up which isn't true I think there are rapists that do exist that you just do once and don't do it again still a horrible human being don't get me wrong and not accusing him of doing anything but to suggest that is really ridiculous anyway it's it's like saying oh because I robbed a Kinder Bueno I'm not gonna rob a Kit Kat it's like hmm stress you're a monster. probably a bad analogy but you know what i mean monster and, and there's a track see, see how all these things just no no not to, but just keep going because you're gonna find one of i mean he might have taken it down it's a what? boy there it is this one here yeah oh i think i look for a glove okay there's a boy right that boy so so there's a video recently came out oh, of uh this of uh, uh, uh that boy in a weird video right you remember that video where the the one guy's got the the fucking big a uh, rainbow after look at, look at Brian Gallon's face. And the, <laughs> I think he realized at this moment, this is a really bad idea. A really, really bad idea. And the kid looks real. Because Sam Tripoli is probably, probably, Sam Tripoli is probably the same level as Eddie Bravo, I think, in terms of conspiracy theory believers, right? He's not like, he's maybe a bit more rational in terms of what he believes in some respects. I think he doesn't believe, he believes that the moon landing wasn't fake. I think there's, there's something that they kind of diverge on, but they're on that same high frequency level where they just question everything. And Brian Callan just doesn't, by any of it any of it whatsoever he's just not in that game whatsoever really uncomfortable and everyone's like look at him look at look at his fidgeting well they found out who this kid is you know who that kid is that is Leonardo Tom. DiCaprio <laughs> that kid is Tom Hanks co-star on Bosom Buddy's son okay and it was a weird so? video a very uncomfortable video that everybody saw so yeah. that, then he runs to Greece. I I'm telling you, dude, there's Why like did he 90 get his Greek citizenship. Because in Greece, uh, pedophilia is a uh, mental illness, not a crime. What? Okay, but. Okay, that silence says it all. And I don't know, man. I don't know. What would you say if you're Brian Cannon? This is your career. Is this a, is this a success to you? Is this a failure? And again, the issue, again, I'll, I'll link it to you and play the rest of it because I think there's about a minute left. I'm not going to bore you with the rest of it. But. I guess the issue for a canon is that you like he could have easily been one of the biggest podcasters 
and comedy guys on the scene, right? Cause, but, you know, just for his maybe lack of work ethic and maybe wanting to make it in Hollywood more so, it didn't really happen. And, you know, without Br Brendan, he probably wouldn't have had a position he's into now, right? Brendan kind of was the business brains behind it and kind of gave him a platform on T Fat K, the great chemistry, and boom, big success. But he's always had his eye on Hollywood. And if anything, it's come to bite him in the, back, in the bum because now he's been accused of what he's been accused of. Hollywood has probably put the kaputs on everything he's doing, even outside of Hollywood. He has to do a show behind a paywall. He can't even do a show on bloody normal YouTube anymore because it doesn't make any kind of make sense, I guess. He doesn't want to risk having a show with low followers and all that kind of... He wants to be on the same platform that he was before, blah, 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 blah. So it's really goes to show that you should maybe double down on the things that actually pay you on the places that you're actually getting the love and the appreciation that you need and not the places that are always constantly disregarding you, asking you to audition a million times, questioning your artistry, um, wanting to repackage you another way, making you get your fucking lids done. Because for real, believe, the lids that he got done was made was mostly a Hollywood thing. I'm sure of it. He wanted to be cast in certain roles. He's obviously always self-conscious about the hair, flicking up and doing that weird thing that he was doing, taking Propecia, right? He was obviously conscious about trying to make it, even when the doors were firmly closed in his face. And if he just would have focused on just the podcasting thing and doing his thing independently, he would have been in a far better platform and a far better position to capitalize on it once Hollywood decided to cancel him. Unfortunately, I think. Um, Again, I guess support the show if you want. It's on the Fire in the Ring, so I'm sure they're going to put more out. Uh, Brian mentioned she's going to do another show called The Callan Report, maybe similar to what Dave Rubin does with The Rubin Report. I'm not too sure, but let me know in the comments down below, man. What do you think? Is it like a bad? Is it like a bad image for Callan going forward? Um, is it a good thing that he's doing something regardless? Uh, do you think? Do you think he wants to hang himself now? He's working with Sam Tripoli. Uh, is Sam Tripoli right? Is is uh, Tom Hanks um, a questionable figure? Should we be worried about him? Um, let me know in the comments down below.